Hi Capricorn, how are you guys? I hope that you're doing well. Just know that I send you all so much love and light and I'm so happy that you are here with me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lynn and this is Passion and Heart Tarot. This is gonna be a love reading Capricorn for March. So let's take a look and see what's going on in your love life. We're gonna do a little spying and then we'll see what's coming in, all right? So before I do, just wanna take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit into the reading. All right, Capricorn. So let's see what is your love life looking like now? What's going on around you guys? Let's see what energy is here. Did you, if you guys recently broke up with someone, they want to talk to you. Oh my goodness, they do. But they don't know, like, they don't know how to go about it. It's almost like they're being blocked, like, energetically. Like, you could be putting up this wall around you that you don't realize that you are, and someone is dying to get through. I see the thoughts and the energy that they're sending your way. It's very, very focused, but it's like it keeps being blocked. Pisces energy as well as Virgo is here and Libra. So you guys could have that in your chart or someone that you're dealing with could have that in their chart. They don't want to be apart from you. They don't want to be without you. There's a lot of sadness that's there. Some of you could even just be very emotionally removed from your person because I see where someone is like, no, I'm going to think about everything logically. I'm not going to let my heart get involved at all. That could be how someone, you know, someone's thinking that way, but is that really what you want to do? Being so emotionally removed like that, because I can see where they're longing to like pull you back. They, they're they looking at what they've done to make the other one feel this way. They're looking at the mistakes that they've made. Someone here feels very uh, distant from their person, very broken up from their person, especially if you're not, li this is literally being broken up, but I know for some of you, it's just like a feeling, a feeling of distance. But I mean, if you would just turn around, if you could shake this energy away from you and, and stop thinking, because this is very narrow minded. It's someone who's very, very fixed in their thought process, very fixed in like, it should be this way, this way, this way. And if it's not, then, then no, it's not gonna fly with me. Very fixed energy is also very narrow-minded, although this person doesn't intend for it to be that way, it is in fact what it is. So it's important for someone to look at themselves because if they would turn around they would see that uh, although they feel very emotionally removed, very distant, this is your person, this is your connection. If you turn around and look, this is this two of cups, like a twin soul energy kindred spirit that is next to you, that's around you, that's behind you. I know mistakes have been made because I can see it there but there's also a great deal of reflection that's happened. And someone who is in, a, is in a different place mentally, emotionally, there's been so much uh, spiritual growth that I, I feel someone needs to be credited for. They do, that's what spirit is telling me that they need to be credited uh, for this growth that they've had, deep reflection in a different place than they were before. So while someone is so fixed in their mindset, feeling so distant, um, I can tell you that this person is dying for you to turn around and look at them and see the connection and realize the connection and, and please receive what I'm trying to, to send. This is it's like they're pleading. They're pleading with you for whoever this is. Could be what you're doing, Capricorn, or could be what someone is trying to send your way because, I mean, this is energy that's just like, it's very focused. It's very passionate it's very tender and it's loving it's exciting it's passionate and it's it's what someone is hoping you will receive but it is kind of in your hands 
It's in your hands to receive it because if you want to claim it, it's there. If you want to turn around and look, that connection is right there. All right, Capricorn. So let's take a look and see what is coming in. And you know, it's funny, I split the deck and then just to reiterate for those of you, you know, questioning, well, is that really my person? I mean, there's no mistaking to split the deck and then see this twin soul energy that's there. So yes, it's a very special connection. I know there's been highs and lows, but it doesn't it doesn't change what you guys are, which is something that, you know, is predetermined by the both of you. So many lifetimes together here to learn from one another. And I know those lessons aren't always easy, but this is a special, special person. All right, so let's see. What is coming in, Capricorn? Let's see what spirit shows us. So this Aquarius energy is here. So you guys could have that in your chart, Sagittarius as well, or just be dealing with someone that does. I see um, where someone just like, they need time. They need time to think. They need time to reflect. Overall, this is how they feel. So it's important for whoever is so driven like this with this Cancer's energy and wanting to move things forward, just know that your person is in the opposite energy of like, you know what, I need time to think. I might need my space. That's not a negative thing. Um, allow them to have their space to think. If they feel a certain way, let them work through those emotions without like, um, you know, trying to force them one way or another. That's what they need. They, they might need their space to just think and clear their head because I can tell you that when they do, there is this energy that comes in of like releasing because this person, um, when they think about things, they transport themselves back to that time as if it was present. And then they start to feel what they felt right at that time. And it's, it's, very, it's very draining on this person and it's counterproductive and it's probably something that they really should try and stop doing because it doesn't do any good. You know, thinking about it and feeling it all over again, you're not learning anything new from it. You've already experienced it, you've gone through it. So dwelling on it is, is not helping you grow at all. So that's very important for someone to know because it's what someone is doing. So it's important to give them their space because that's what they need right now. They do. It's going to help them see. It's going to help them feel. And by feeling, they can let it go. Okay, so that's very important. So you may, Capricorn, this could be, you know, what your person needs. And you find that they are you know, very kind of like putting up this wall around them. Just know that, that they do need their space and that's why. And by giving them their space, they can release, they can let go. I just see this energy that someone is in a feeling very disappointed. It could be the way that you end up feeling you know, because this person is telling you that they need space or, or it could be how your person is feeling about you, Capricorn, if you're the one who has like your guard up like this. But just know that having your guard up like this, it's not helping you. So you will have to decide like, is this behavior that you wanna keep doing because it's not changing anything, anything about the past and it's not helping at all. Being in this um, mindset, like you're not going to get what you want. 
And if you keep thinking like that, then that's what you're going to draw to you when you don't really mean to be that way. For whoever this is, that's important for you to know, like holding on to those things from the past, it doesn't change any of it. All right, I want to see why is this Aquarius energy in the reverse like that? I know that, it, and again, with this, it's very important to release it, to feel it, Capricorn, but once you do, stop feeling it. It's not doing any good, you know, thinking about it over and over and over again. Because with this Aries energy, I know that someone looks at their person and they feel very disappointed in them. They feel like they're, when they think about that side that they saw to them that they wish they didn't see, they feel sad all over again. They feel very disappointed. So we look at this energy that's coming in. And we see that there's a possibility of, of feeling this way, but there's also a possibility of not feeling this way if you would just release and let it go. And I don't say that to be insensitive as to what's gone on with you and your person. I know that what's gone on, like it feels very significant to you, but on a spiritual level, what spirit is showing me is that you're not learning anything else from it and you're only hurting yourself and the connection by holding on to it, especially if you if you feel um, distant from them, but you're still with them. There's no point. There's no point in doing it. There's no point. You have someone here that's crazy about you. I mean, they're so uh, drawn to you. When we could see with that eight of wands, like they just want to send so much affection your way. It's passionate. It's sexual. It's so much chemistry that they're hoping that you'll be open to receiving because that's you can. It's around you. It's there now. I can see where things are going to start to get on the right track with the connection. It's just like a phase that someone needs to go through of feeling. Um, some of you could even be actively like, you know, learning the tools that you need to release it because some of you may not know how to do that. So it's like you're in this in this period of like kind of keeping to yourself and needing space like as you learn. And that's okay. That's okay to be that way. So someone's going to kind of have to accept it because if you keep pushing them too much like that, keep pushing them, it's not going to make them move any faster because this is a person who's, whose mindset is very fixed. And they'll do what they want when they want. And that's not because of like their ego. It's just because they feel like that's the that's the way that they need to be. All right. I want to I want to look further into this Knight of Wands because this is this is energy that is very, very um passionate. It's fun, it's sexual. But I know that there's also a surprise that comes along with it because of someone's emotions because they they look at this person differently from time to time they do and I understand I do I, I understand why they they feel this way but it doesn't really change um how your person feels about you, how they long so much to get close to you, how they desire you, uh, like mind, body, and soul. They truly do. All right, Capricorn, let's look further into this Knight of Wands. Because although the although the energy is like highly sexual, I keep seeing, you know, this Empress here, this Emperor and this Empress. It's a very serious couple. It relates to like a spouse, um, two people who have made vows to each other, whether that's like uh, literally like at a church or whatever, holy matrimony, or it's, you know, they just have these vows to one another. So although this energy, yes, it is highly sexual and it's, you know, someone who, if it wasn't anchored by the emperor and the empress, it could mean something else. 
But when it's anchored by that kind of connection and the divine timing of things, your person wants to connect with you. They, they just, there's just so much energy here of longing to be a part of your life and to be connected with you in, in every way that they can, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. This is what they want. They're, lo they're really longing for you to turn around and look at them and look at the connection. And it's beautiful to see that things are moving in the right direction. You guys are learning how to let go of things from the past that hurt you, that blindsided you, that betrayed you. You're learning to let go of it. You are. And again, Sagittarius energy is here. Cancer, Aries, Aquarius. So you guys could have that in your chart or be dealing with someone that does. So... The energy is going to clear. You're not going to be in this because I see Capricorn where throughout the month you keep going like through highs and lows. You know, some days you're bummed out. The other days you're, you're positive and you can look at the future and then you feel very sexually attracted to your person. So just be prepared. Just know that throughout the month that you may experience like these highs and lows emotionally. And that's okay because you have some things that you're working through that you and as you work through them, you will release them. Things are on. Things are on point in the connection. So if you want to give this person a chance to come back to you, you you're not gonna regret it. Although I, I know you go through these highs and lows emotionally, ultimately though, it's, it's the right move to make to allow them to come back because they're dying to, they're longing to, they want to. And I know that deep down you want to open up to them again. Okay, so just be prepared for that. Just know that um, it is kind of an emotional month for you because I see like the highs and lows, the ups and downs. And then I also see how you are, you won't regret giving them a chance. You won't. Like looking at the future again, visualizing going down the path with, with your person, embracing that twin soul of yours. It makes you feel open again. It makes you feel like you're not afraid, like you're not afraid to picture the future. You're not afraid to connect with them physically, sexually, emotionally. And and for some of you, if you do take that chance um, and like reconnect with this person again sexually, it's going to be an experience that you won't regret. It's going to be an experience that it will make you see things differently because I know that there's a longing that the both of you have to reconnect. So even if you do it on a physical level, it's gonna, it will bring positivity, like a different mindset to the both of you, you know, being able to connect that way. So for whoever this is for, it's very important though, for you to have patience um, as you wait for this connection to come back together because they still are very iffy about the other person, but the balance is coming in. And then when I just look a little bit further, I mean, this is very joyous. It's balanced. It's feeling like you can, you have a handle on things and it feels good. So just have patience, not only with yourself, but have patience with your person and just know that as you work through things, because you have to feel it, that's the only way you'll be able to release it. You have to feel it. And, and it's not always easy to feel it because you might want to suppress it. But once you do, that's when like one by one, these swords, which represents like past energy, hurtful energy, words, conversations, finding out things, feeling betrayed. One by one, those swords will release and energetically from you. Okay, Capricorn. So just know that just be prepared. It's okay to feel. It's okay to go through these ups and downs throughout the month. And it's okay if you want to embrace the connection with this person again, because you guys are on the right track. Everything that you're going through, you are meant to go through an experience with them. And you, what you have coming in is, is very positive and like a new outlook. You know, it's like when you open up your window and you feel that fresh air come in, that's, that's what you have coming in for you, but not if you keep suppressing it for whoever this is. It could be what your person is doing, Capricorn. So if they are, just have patience with them because 
they need to feel. They need to feel so they can work through it and let it go. And you guys are going to be on the right track. You already are. You have a lot of luck and love that's coming in for you. All right, Capricorn. So just know how much I love you guys. I'm so happy that you were here with me today. I send you all much love and light and I thank you for everything. And please subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to me. Give this video a thumbs up and comment and share. And I will talk to you guys soon.